okay, I got a G1 particles, travel at the speed of light, and gravity travels at the speed of light, it seems, by experiments looking at those. Light, of course, travels at the speed of light, and electrons at the speed of light. Let's just take a look at gravity and light. That was sort of the first things you sort of unified in the par particle theory, if you want to call it that. And you were working with some friends, and you were you had a question in your mind that got you there. What was that question? Well, the the uh, the, the group that we were studying, we were trying to take a wave. We were using, in this sense, ether and wave through the ether, and trying to make it act like gravity. What we actually come up with, and we wrote a paper on this. We actually came up with the idea that if gravity was a wave, that it was a low frequency, low intensity wave. Okay, now that's the best we could come up with. Okay, now what 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 a low frequency says is if it's low enough, it's almost it's almost to the point where it has no frequency. It's just a stream, a steady stream of particles. But at that point, we said, since it's a wave, it's a very low frequency, very long wavelength, which is virtually, when you look at it in the short intervals, it looks straight. So gravity is a low intensity stream of particles with essentially no wavelength. Light, on the other hand, is, from the sun at least, is high intensity, has lots of particles, and has a wavelength. Okay, and that wavelength, you know, is it varies especially in the visible range, be it for from blue up to red, and um, and, and so if we're going to change the idea that light is a stream of particles, then to make it a wave, you have to have particles bunched up. And, and, and not bunched up so that you have a wavelength. You have a spacing between highly concentrated particles and nothing or very little in between. So now you have gravity, steady stream of low intensity G1 streams, and you have light with high intensity with a wavelength. So the way they're organized is what distinguishes the function of the G1. Low intensity, no wavelength, or high intensity, very uh, short wavelengths for visible light, even shorter for gamma rays and, even, and longer for radio waves. And that distinguishes the two.